So could Donald Trump get back in the race in the 2016 campaign because he hired two new people? Kelly Ann Conway, campaign manager, pollster, worked for other Republicans, wants Trump to soften his rhetoric, no more name calling, stick on the issues, illegal immigration, jobs to China, terrorism, the things that made Trump famous in the primaries. Even had Trump do an apology last week in a speech saying, I know I've hurt some people, I've caused pain with my words, and I regret that. The closest thing we've seen so far to a Trump apology. He's, he's been on the prompter with words that he should be saying, sticking on the issues. Now, the campaign chief, Stephen Bannon, is a Breitbart guy who throws a long pass, goes for scandals. You've got to believe he's behind some of the Hillary health charges about her after effects of the brain concussion in 2012, but he goes long. We'll see how this merges. But if Trump can stick on issues, not name call, not follow rabbits down a hole, he can try to get some of those blue collar white men back, uh, the Joe Sixpack Reagan Democrats who drove his primaries back. And he gets regular Republicans back who are on the fence who don't like his vulgarity, college educated Republicans. He's right now about 80% there or 78%. He's get to 90 on that. Get Tea Party women in the fold, hope that Hillary Clinton's turnout is lower with kids. It's hard for her to match Barack Obama's enthusiasm and turn out with 18 to 30 year olds and just neutralize her as much as he can with the rest of the electorate and get the vote down into the low 40s and hope the third party candidates take away from both Hillary in some states, Trump and others. We well, might have an interesting race. He's still behind. It may be too late. He might have cut down too many trees with the Republican women, but these two new hires could help Trump because it allows Trump to be Trump but Trump to be Trump on message. If he stays on message, he could close the gap. And those are my two sets. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCashin, Tommy's campaign manager in 94, who gets things done downtown as a lobbyist. We can talk about this and more on the radio tomorrow at 8 on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hanks Show. Talk to you then.